Hello friends, welcome to Somewhere in Particular. That's the name of the brewery. We're actually in Columbus, Ohio, but Somewhere in Particular is where we're about to go drink some, some beers. So, let's go. What a nice brewery. Right here in their parking lot is this old cabin looking building with a tiny door. And nice barn and outdoor seating area. Touch tunes, I like that. What do you like on this menu right now? Um, I'm more of a light beer kind of gal. I like the Whistler, it's really good. Uh, school Sessions are pretty popular too. Okay, I'll take one of those. Thank you. I was given the Whistler. It's an American lager, four and a half percent. Oh, it's nice. In a good way, it tastes like a Budweiser. It's like a really nice, really nice lager. Not like a Bud Light, like a Budweiser. It's definitely got a rich flavor to it. Got a nice, nice finish. It's good. I like it. I like this bar. Nice finished wood. Cool, and then their little drop down walkthrough area over there. I like that. Today is the dog costume contest. Apparently outside there's a bunch of dogs wearing costumes. So let's walk out there and check it out. Oh, I see the gathering of dogs over here. That's pretty cool. I don't have a dog, but if I did, or a cat, I would bring it in here. Even though it's just for dogs, I would bring a cat dressed up, like Halloween themed. I don't know what I would dress up the cat as, though. Over here in the back corner is this barn turned into another bar. Kind of like a mix between two great worlds, the beach and the country. I like it. We have four beers on tap at the Tiki Bar. Nice place to hang out and watch the game today. The tripod. <laughs> Just a few days ago I had a beer called Tom Brady's Tears, but the original name was Deflategate. I wonder if it was because of this brewery they had to change their name. I, I might have to get that one next, but there's some good looking beers on this menu. I see a couple that I, I really want. Thank you. Skull session, 7.2. Buckeye Porter is what it's called. The Skull session is when the Ohio, the Ohio State marching band gets together right before a game and they do their practice and it's open to the public. You gotta be like in line at the right time, otherwise you can't get in. That's the Skull session. I've never been to one, I've always wanted to go. Um, at least try the beer. Oh. I like that. It's kind of like a Buckeye with a little bit of coffee in it. It's like you melted down a, a Buckeye into a cup of coffee and then added some beer fizz. And that's what this is. It's so good. This is an excellent, excellent beer. Wow. I really like this. I've seen these lights in a couple of different breweries. These like old barn logs or rafters, whatever wrapped with these lights from Amazon. Doesn't look so bad. Thanks. Deflate gate, six and a half percent. I think the thing with deflate gate's funny because things in the NFL, is it really legal or illegal? It's only illegal or illegal in the league, right? I mean, they're not gonna get arrested for any of the mischievous things that they do in the NFL. Well, they make such a big deal about it in the news, you know, Deflate Gate. That was, that was weird. I don't even like football that much. I like the Ohio State University football when it's on, but I don't follow sports that much. I follow beer more. I, I like this beer. It is a little too much booziness for me. It's sweet. It's floral. It's mildly citrusy. Mildly. 
super hazy. Check that out. I wouldn't drink two of these. This, this is one's enough for sure. It's okay to me. I'm sure if you guys like hazies, you're gonna be into it. Guys and girls, you're gonna you're gonna like these. Not a bad beer. This is an unrelated thing from beer, but a couple of patrons here at the brewery have been wearing vests to the scene. You know, one was a puffy vest and one was just a Carhartt you know, solid like flannel vest. I've never understood vests. Your arms are still cold. I know it keeps your core warm, but if you wear a vest and you have a good reason for it, you just leave a comment below and let me know. Uh, me and the bartender were talking about it, and uh, neither of us really understand the vest thing. And maybe it's just a fashion statement. I'm not really sure. I'd wear a vest, maybe, if I found a, a real good purpose for it. But I haven't found a good purpose for it yet. I, I probably will never own a vest. That might be the beer talking. I, I'm not really sure. Let's take a look at their swag section, shall we? It's right here next to the bar. They got some t-shirts. Looks like they got some little dog treats up here for sale. They really like the dogs here. And here's all their shirts to just pick from. That's it. That's all their swag. It's cool. Their brew house is adjacent to the tasting room here. And it's kind of a brew theater. You can't really see what's going on when they're brewing. Oh, well, maybe right here. Yeah, you got a you got a pretty good sight of what's going on. It's a nice system. They do offer a full liquor bar as well. They got a lot of drinks available other than beer. For those of you that don't like beer, for whatever reason that is. No friends, they don't have a display case for their beers to go, but the bartender is very kind, is bringing out the beers that they do have available. We got the Deflate Gate that I'm drinking right now. The Prickly Rick, which has been recommended to me for a good sour. And we have this, uh, another sour here. At, this is a uh, tangerine and lime. The limelight sounds good. I hear the limelight and the prickly rick are good together, like a 50 50 combo. And then the easy peasy. There we go. I'm going to take one of these home with me. Becca, the wonderful bartender, has helped me sway my decision in the direction of the limelight, so I'm going to take that. Last beer, the lime rick. It's a limelight and the prickly rick. Sweet, like a prickly pear. It's got that flavor with a little bit of saltiness of lime, liminess in it. This is really nice. I like the sour. I'm impressed with the beers here. It's good stuff. The environment's good. The people are really good. The bartender's great. The, the brewer is great. Good job, whoever you are. And. I really like this particular beer. It's pretty mild. It's great flavor. Got my beers to go and head it out. Thanks for joining me today, friends, here in Columbus, Ohio, at Somewhere in Particular Brewing Company. Glad I got my beers to go. I'm still wondering what this little shack is here in the parking lot. I never did find out. If you know, leave a comment below. I appreciate your company, friends. I'll see you at the next brewery.